If all you want is a compact, easy to use, yet still capable flashlight, maybe what you're looking for is the Thrunite Archer Mini. If you're interested, keep watching. Just before we begin, I would like to thank Thrunite for sending me this flashlight so that I could share it with you. All right, as always, we'll go down to the tabletop. I'll go over the key features for the Mini Archer. I'll go over its performance specifications as well as its physical specifications. Then we'll do a little bit of testing. Just before we take a closer look at the Through Night Archer Mini, I thought I'd show you what it came with. So this is the box that the light came with. This is the instruction manual and warranty information. And finally, a USB type C charging cable. As far as key features, this light, as I mentioned, is just a simple little everyday carry flashlight that you put in your pocket, barely know it's there, yet when you need it, capable of the tasks you need of a small flashlight. So as far as uh, key features, it really only has one that makes it stand out from many of the other lights, and that is that the Type-C charging port is under the collar, and the whole bezel rotates. So let me do that. And now you can see there is where the Type-C charging port is, closing it back up. We'll keep all the water out of it, and that's what allows for an IPX8 waterproof rating. So let's just go over its physical specifications. As far as length, it's 3.27 inches in length, which is 86 millimeters. At its widest, it is 0.66 inches or 16.7 millimeters, and its weight is a scant 1.3 ounces or 36 grams. It has a built-in 320 milliamp 1040 lithium-ion battery, and as I mentioned, non-replaceable. As far as performance specifications go, the Archer Mini only has two lumen settings, a low and a high, as well as a strobe setting. So on low, it is 18 lumens, but that'll last you seven and a half hours. On high, it starts out at 405 lumens, but drops for 2.8 minutes, and then drops down to 175 lumens for another 52 minutes. On strobe, it does come in at 355 lumens and that'll last you 110 minutes. It does have a reasonable beam cast for a flashlight this small of 87 meters and as I mentioned it is IPX8 rated which is to say the width flashlight will withstand, withstand submersion underwater to 2 meters for at least one hour and a 1.5 meter impact. As far as operation goes as I mentioned it's a very simple flashlight to operate. There's just a single push button on the tail end of the flashlight light and when you turn the light on it always comes on in the low lumen setting if you want to reach the high lumen setting you double tap the light while it's on quite a considerably bit brighter and turn it off again again back to the low setting as I mentioned there is a strobe on this and that is accessed through a triple tap and off and it goes back down to the low setting. Now it has one unique feature that I find absolutely essential and I'll explain why in a minute and that it does have an electronic lockout on the button. So you start with the flashlight turned on, hold the uh, tail cap in and you'll see the flashlight go out. Now if I press it it'll just flash at me to tell me that it's in lockout mode. To unlock it, I just press and hold, and then the flashlight comes back on. A few more comments about the lockout in a minute. One thing I failed to mention is it does have a removable two-way pocket clip, and I'll have another comment on that in a few minutes. Having gone over the key features as well as specifications for the Through Night Archer Mini, there's only one thing left to do. Let's do a little nighttime testing. So I thought I would do two separate tests for the Through Night Archer Mini. First, in my gear room downstairs in my home, I have the light on on the low setting. So this is 18 lumens. That's not bad. I can see around the room enough to navigate. I might want some more light if I was looking for something. So why don't we take it up to the high level? That is bright. When you think about it, that is a bright little light for the size of this. Yeah, plenty of light for working and looking for things inside my home. Now let's take the light outdoors. All right, I'm out in my backyard. I'm going to give you a couple of outdoor shots of the Through Night Archer Mini. So this is against the side of my house. This is on the low 18 lumens and I'm standing about 15 feet away. So you can see, not bad, not bad. Let's take it up to the high. 
that's that's bright now I'm just going to swing the light around to my backyard first on low so you can see it doesn't quite reach that's about 50 60 feet to the back of the yard now let's put it on high but that does that provides quite a bit of light to the backyard not bad for a light this small is it all right, let's close this video out with a few pros and cons for the Thru-Night Archer Mini. So to begin, what do I really like about this flashlight? Obviously, it is small, it's compact, it's lightweight, it's easy to use, it still has reasonably good lumen settings. I like the fact that it has that electronic lockout switch on it. And as I mentioned, I, I'll tell you the reason is I was putting this in my pocket, obviously face down with the pocket clip, and I found that pushing it into my pocket, I was turning it on every time until I started using the electronic lockout. So very, very key feature. And the other feature, of course, is the fact that the USB Type-C charging port is covered. I don't have to worry about losing a small rubber cap seal or allowing moisture to get in. It just makes for a nice, clean looking, simple little flashlight. So those are the key features I like. So what is it I think could be improved on this? Well, I'm going to say right off the top, it's the electronic lockout. It only takes takes a second to activate and a second to deactivate. I'd like to see it be a little longer because I find that pushing it into my pocket, I could easily, even though it's locked out, easily deactivate it and not be aware that the flashlight is on. So just a little longer delay on activation and deactivation of the electronic lockout, that would be good. The pocket clip. Now this is becoming very much a standard on a lot of flashlights, not just from through night. And they refer to it as a two-way pocket clip. And while it's very effective at sliding into a pocket, it's also being rated as something that you can slide onto the brim of a hat and use as a headlamp. Theoretically, a great idea. Realistically, take a look if that will close in on the, uh, the two-way pocket clip. It's just too narrow to grab onto the brim of any hat. Like the hat brim barely will slide in underneath the edge of this. So I don't consider this a good clip for using on a brim of the hat. What might have been nice, but you can't do with this light, is remove the pocket clip, as I did say it was removable, reverse it and put it back on. But the tube body of the light itself is slightly more narrow than where the pocket clip, pocket clip grips on. So you can't do that with that light. Now, the tube of the body, as mentioned, being narrow. Let's have another closer look at that. This is my last little gripe. And these things are relative. They're not absolute. So it's certainly not deal breakers. This thing is smooth very smooth. There's no knurling, no grip, no nothing on the outside of the light. And while that makes for a clean looking light, I'll tell you, it's just a little smooth in the fingers. I would like to see something a little bit more grip on the light, maybe a little knurling or something. Now, again, another relative con is the fact that the battery is not replaceable. So you won't be able to replace the battery, but you know, it's just as well. This is not an expensive light, yet it is still a very capable light. Likely at the point at which the battery dies, you're ready for another light and that's probably the way to look at this not as disposable so much as just it's not going to last forever and you might as well get a new one i think that's the way to look at these small lights that ones like this okay that's all i have to say about the through night archer mini i quite like this light it's one that i've been carrying around in my pocket for a while now and i'll continue to do so i do have to be careful with that electronic lockout to make sure that it is activated but if you have any comments or any questions about this light or anything else then please put them in the comments section below i will be putting the video or description of this light and where you can purchase it from in the video description all right that's all i have for you get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference bye for now